Hey, you guys, it's Sharika, aka Share, and welcome back as I share my life with you guys as I go through this debt free journey. So, today we are going to do a little recap of what happened with my finances in the month of August. And so, let's just get right into it. All right, so in the month of August, I budgeted that I was going to get $3,800.74. But if you guys saw my mid-month budget update, you would have saw that I got a reward from work in the month of August. And so my actual for August was $5,007.29 plus the rent check that I got in. And like I said before, if you saw my videos previously, I don't like to add that into my budget. When it comes, it comes and I pay I go directly to debt. And so my total income for the month of August was $6,507.29. Woo! So let's go into some of my spending. Ties and charitable giving, I gave $392 even. So that's more than I planned, but giving more is always better. Gifts, I did not plan for any gifts, and I ended up giving $225. That was a combination between giving gifts to friends and then giving gifts to my Financial Peace University class. Uh, we did a raffle at the end of that. So yeah, but it's okay to give. And then of course my One Child Matters, my sponsored child in the Philippines, $39. So that was right on. Then we've got my regular expenses here. I cell phone, $130 as usual. Paid my parents my rent, $250. Then I budgeted $250 for my car and condo insurance, but it ended up coming in at $220.51. And they had called me in advance and told me that there was going to be a change. I just didn't know the amount. So less is always better. My life insurance is $62.84. Then Google Play. And so if you saw my budget video from before, Google Play ended up switching to YouTube Music, and then I ended up doing a family plan. And honestly, I don't even think my daughter's using it, so I need to talk to her because then I may just go back to the $9.99. But I paid $14.99 for the month of August, which was much, which was more than I budgeted for. Then we have Netflix, which is $8.99, which y'all I did cancel Netflix. So as of September 15th, I won't be having Netflix anymore. So that will not be on the next recap. And then we have Hulu at $5.99. My subscriptions, both subscriptions came out, both Patreons came out, so $40. Audible, remember I budgeted $14.95 for Audible, but then I ended up canceling it before the payment came out, so I didn't pay for Audible in the month of August. And then Zoom, $14.99 as usual. Then I have my daughter's student loan. $150. I do $75 each check and that came out as normal. And then my minimum student loan payment. And although I have a federal loan that is in forbearance because of CARES Act, I still make the minimum payment that I had set before CARES Act went into effect. So the $452.84, I made that payment. Then when I got those awards in, and my rent check in, I was able to make a extra debt small a debt snowball payment for three thousand dollars to those student loans. Money that I gave myself, I budget myself a hundred dollars a month, fifty dollars each check, and I ended up spending one hundred two thirty four. Um, I'm not sure. It probably wine. Honestly, I think <laughs> I'm not sure what that was over. I have to look at my wine app and check. Then. Gasoline, I budgeted $150, $75 each check, just in case I had to drive my daughter to school and my dad ended up driving. So I only spent $86.28 in August for groceries and food. And so this category, groceries is food, period. Food from the grocery store, food, eating out, probably wine, or I don't even know, just anything that has to do with eating something, that's where this comes from. And as you see, I went over budget by quite a bit, $114.43. So I really need to work on that for the month of September. And so I actually, I am a part of this women in money group where I, that I host, and we have been holding each other accountable pretty much all year as far as spending. And so one of the girls suggested that we do a no spend for the month of September. And I actually 
joined this little challenge. It was uh, she was following Michelle Singletary's um, 21 day financial fast, but I decided not to buy the book. I'm just going to do a no spend September. And y'all, it is September 5th. I'm struggling already, but I'm hanging in there because that can't happen anymore. We can't be going over budget. A hundred and something dollars could have went to my student loan. So on to the next one. Um, Hair and Beauty every month, 115 Laundry, y'all, I've been doing my own laundry. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. But it's actually... You know, it is a um, convenience to get the laundry done, but then also I have to drive out to where my house is to get it done. And I just haven't had the time for that because I've been swamped with work like crazy. So I've been in the house just getting some things done. And then the buffer, I budgeted $50 and I only spent $198 from my buffer. And so I'm sure some of these other things could have balanced out elsewhere, but it is what it is. Amazon Prime budgeted $120 and it was $119. And so I also bought some clothing. I bought some shoes and heel supports, some uh, good, comfortable shoes. And I actually may have to buy some more um, this month or actually next month. But um, it depends on what my podiatrist says, but we shall see. And then medical expenses, $213.92. And as if you've seen my videos before, all of my medical expenses are currently being reimbursed from my flexible spending account. And so that is where some of that incoming money came to. So that all balances out. And so I had a disposable income of four twenty four. seven. And if you take a look at my YNAB budgets, you will see that I'm able to use that money to budget for some things in the next month. And so a few of my expenses in September are already budgeted for. I like to have a little bit of a buffer at the end of the month to roll over so that um, I know I'm supposed to zero base budget and pay everything, but that's just not the way my finances work. I like how it works this way. And overall, this is how my August went. How did your August go? I've been seeing some budget videos. Y'all, I've been swamped with work, but I have been listening to these videos on the side as I've been working on presentations for work. But you guys are rocking it and paying off debt, keep sticking to your budgets, sticking under budget, and getting rid of unnecessary expenses. I just love this financial freedom community and you guys are awesome so i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and comment down below and i will talk to you guys later have a great one bye